I have not done one of these in a while, but I saw the trailer for Romulus like maybe maybe two two months ago, about two months ago, and I thought it looked great. So I'm like, let me just sit through every single Alien movie just to you know build up an anticipation of Romulus. So I did. I sat through about what, like seven seven eight movies, whatever all, all the Alien movies, about seven eight. Um, I will say on this list there is there is Alien vs Predator, which I have not watched. Requiem, which I also have not watched, but apparently is very shit. So I guess I'm not missing out anything. And Isolation, which is not a movie. So I don't know why it's on this list, but it is. And I didn't play it. So it is what it is. Those three are going to stay down there. The rest, they're going to be put in the list. And I guess we'll just see where everything ranks. As you can tell by what's on the screen, I'm going to be following the tier list format. I don't like placing like one, two, three. I don't like, you know, I don't really like placing movies in like a, a straight order. I feel like that's too mean. So I'm going to just put them in, in tiers just so nobody's too angry. Although I have, I'm pretty sure I got some picks that are going to make people angry, but it is what it is. As the title suggests, this is objective. It ain't on me. You can, you can take it up with somebody else. We can't take it up with me. All right. So first movie, Alien, the first Alien. This movie is great. This movie is great because it sets out to tell a story and it tells it very appropriately. It, it's like, a, it, it's, it's a horror movie. Sure. It's not that scary. Honestly, none of the Alien movies are that scary, if we're being honest. But, well, maybe Romulus got some, like, modern horror stuff. You know, the jump scares, all that. But, like, honestly, the old Alien movies don't really have that. It's mostly just, like, tense, you know, confrontations with the aliens. In the first one, there's barely confrontations with the aliens, to be honest. Or alien, I guess. I think it works very well for the movie, honestly. And... What I really, 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 really appreciate about the Alien movies up until I would say probably Covenant is you don't really get a good look at the aliens that often. Like, and I think that's part of their whole like menacing demeanor is that the cast of characters barely see these aliens. And as a viewer, so do you. You only get like really, really close ups of the aliens. And those motherfuckers are wet. Let me tell you, those motherfuckers are wet. I don't know why they're so wet, but they're fucking wet. Anyways, I think it really, really works out better for the aliens that you never really get a, a, a super good look at them. And I think it makes for a scarier, quote unquote, experience. And the, the best movie that exemplifies that is definitely the first alien. It's super like small scale. It's really just like it's one alien on one ship. There's about maybe seven. Well, I was going to say seven crew members. It don't stay seven for long. It, go, it starts counting down pretty fast. And it's just, it, it's very small scale and it's a very like personal horror movie. And I, I, I really, I really put the emphasis on that because it definitely goes off the rails as soon as the next one comes in. So to me, might still be number one. Um, but like I said, I don't want to put numbers on it, but it might still be number one just because it does the alien formula that is going to be try to be replicated throughout all these movies. I think it does it the best still or maybe the second best but definitely definitely in the top two if not top one so that obviously means an s tier second ones is aliens and now this 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 might be controversial but i'm not the biggest fan of aliens honestly i think it loses focus i, I don't think it's it's what the sequel to alien should have been alien is such a like it, it's such a laser focused movie about what it wants to do it's a very small scale horror movie aliens is a large-scale action movie with some horror elements you know just by the aliens being there and stuff now i will say while it is disappointing that it becomes something that i was hoping it would not become because that's not why i like the first alien at all i didn't get like i'm not looking for action from aliens i'm not looking for anything like that however i do like the expanded lore i think i think they, i think the movie does a good job of in the first movie, like, let, let me just put it like this. In the first movie, you really don't know anything about the alien, and I think that's part of the charm. Of course, I will say that. But I do appreciate that in the second movie, they try to expand on the lore. Now, you still don't know much about the aliens, but you kind of get an idea for the hierarchy of things, right? They introduce the queen. They introduce a bunch of other aliens. They kind of show how the aliens act with their kind. It's it, it's for sure interesting. It's It's for sure relevant for everything that comes after it. But is it the best usage of a sequel to turn it into like a big action movie? Personally, I'm not of that mindset. Now, I'm not saying this was bad, not by any means. But to me, 
I'll be, I'm gonna be honest, it was just, it was cool, it was just okay. It's nothing to go crazy about, it's nothing that I'm like, oh my god, this is the best movie ever, and I'm, not sure, I'm sure some people love this movie, and I know some people, I know most people really like this movie, and probably have it in their top, top three, top two even, maybe even top one of Alien movies, but that's just not, that's just not the case for me. So I'm, I'm gonna have to put it, I don't know, maybe, maybe at a B, probably at a B. Alien 3, now, now this, now this is a good movie. Alien 3 is a good movie, I will say that. It is way more, it, well, I wouldn't say it's closer to 1. It's, well, it is closer to 1 just by virtue of it not being a full-on action movie. But it is also still, it, it does have that action pack, like, you know, the, it does have those action sequences from the, from the second movie. So I will say that it's kind of like a nice middle ground between the two. Depending on what you prefer between 2 and 1, I feel like it, it will heavily heavily influence where you put three but i'm not the biggest fan of the action stuff in alien but i feel like it's done more how could i say I feel, I feel like it's it's a little less in your face in this one it's a little more subdued of course there's a lot of action scenes but there's also a lot of cool shots that you know they didn't do in the first two movies like the like the first person shots at the end of the of this one it, it, it's just it, it's very very cool ideas i will say I watched the director's cut, so the CG was a little bit worked on, right? It's it's still not great, but it, it, the CG is just horrible in this movie. It's bad. It's really bad. But I'm not I'm not one to, to criticize CG and stuff like that. I don't really care. It's just like I gotta say it because like some people do care. I'm not one of those people. I don't really mind as long as the story being told is fine. If the CG is just not great, it's cool. I don't really care for real. And I think the story being told here is actually better than the one in the second movie. And that, that, that might just be me. I don't know. It might be weird. But I really, really prefer the third. And also, I think it has a very satisfying conclusion to the series. Now, obviously, as you can tell, it kept going. Oh, for, for sure it kept going. And it's going to keep going. Because money talks. However, I think Alien 3 is a very, very good, like, just jump off point to, to, to Aliens. Like, it's a great ending to the story. It makes sense. And unfortunately, the fourth one doesn't make sense. So we're gonna we're gonna move on. But before, I'm gonna put Alien Three in in A. I think it's a very very nice middle ground between um one and two. Okay, now Resurrection is I don't even know how to put this. It's 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 ridiculous. It's completely absurd. In the action department, it goes even worse than two. And I feel bad saying worse because two wasn't bad. It's just like it it, it completely forgets. The horror elements like those don't matter anymore right and i i think well somewhat they don't matter but i th i think it, it's fine for the most part and i mean just the fact that they're kind of getting away from the horror elements because the movie itself is less than fine i would say it's it's it, it, it's a little bit below mid there's a lot of stuff that doesn't really hold up now um but I, I feel like you could say that about like any movie that was made in like the 90s right so I feel like some of the some of the dialogue, some of the characters, some of everything, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't really it doesn't really hold up too well now. Um, I also feel like what they did with the ending Alien um, definitely influenced what happened in Romulus, and I, although that's cool, that does not make it that does not make Alien Resurrection a good movie by any means. Them bringing back Ripley is just ridiculous, and the, the reasoning and just like how it works. I, I don't really understand how it works. And I, I will say that I haven't... Like, I've, I watched these movies, like, maybe maybe a month or two ago. So, I'm pretty fresh into it. I haven't watched any any three-hour video essays on why it makes sense that Ripley was brought back and had these connections to the aliens and how did the queen come back? Did they clone her? I, like, I don't have all the context, but I will say that in the movie itself, it didn't seem, like, super apparent right away how this happened. Or maybe I was half asleep. I don't know. But it didn't seem, it, it didn't seem super apparent to me how some of the shit happened in the movie now i just i just take the punches and i roll with it because that's usually what i do with every movie but for this one i would have liked a little more a little more explanation because the the, the the packaging around the content was also suspect almost almost more suspect than the content in the movie itself so just for those reasons i don't rate it too high and i i think it deserves a c and real shit, I'm just not giving it a D because I heard that Requiem is disgusting, and I feel like that one should probably be in D. So I'ma just I'ma just put it I'ma just put it at C. Although it feels you know mm, it feels disrespectful. It feels disrespectful to have Alien at a B, and then ugh, I don't know. 
I don't know. Maybe aliens is too low. Aliens might be too low, low key. Okay, let me let me put aliens up. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Just just, just so this makes sense, let me put aliens up because Resurrection has some stuff. It it's not it's it's a bad movie. Let's just call it what it is. But it it's got something. It's kind of fun. It it's I, like I feel like you could find something in there for you. I just couldn't. So I'm gonna put it at C. Now Prometheus. So I just want to specify that yes, it does fit into alien lore to a certain extent. At least in my opinion, I I could see how they could work their way towards you know like a like a, like alien one basically like prometheus is, prometheus is a prequel covenant is the sequel and then you have a third one which was originally planned which will, will probably never come out at this point so we might never know there's a there's a missing link between this trilogy or this duology i guess and the alien like quadrology i guess right resurrection so i think it's too bad because I think a lot of the ideas that were put forth in Prometheus, Prometheus are good. And I, I feel like that's where it's really going to be. The, the, I feel like that's the deciding factor, whether you like Prometheus or not. If you enjoy or if you can at least see the vision and appreciate the vision. I will say appreciate the vision that the writers were going for with Prometheus. Because they were basically trying to just give you an explanation. All throughout the, the first four aliens, you have basically nothing. They're just... They're just uh, this species of aliens. They come from they they come from eggs, impregnate a human, and then an alien comes out. Okay, how the fuck does that happen? Where do they come from? If you care about that, then you might enjoy Prometheus. If you really don't care about the origins of the uh, uh, of the aliens, and honestly, you really don't have to, because you could just completely take it at face value, and it would still be very interesting. You could just literally be like, oh, these are aliens. This is what they do. Cool, that works. If you care about you know if if you want to know more. And you appreciate the vision, which I guess is, a, I guess, you know, you, you got a, you got a two-step thing you got to pass before you actually appreciate, appreciate Prometheus. But I, I like Prometheus for what it was. I think the ideas that it put forth are interesting. I don't mind the engineers. I think it's pretty cool. I actually enjoy the idea of them going to different planets and like kind of like populating them, I guess, with the black goo. I also like the, the, the whole idea of discussing how you know androids in and i have actually I actually have not mentioned androids at all throughout the the, the ranking so far because it, they don't they matter obviously they matter in the first four movies but it's really in prometheus that they start exploring that kind of that relationship between androids and humans where like humans really don't treat androids like they're human at all i mean like they're people at all well, they're obviously not humans but they don't treat them like they're people at all. And they kind of explore that relationship. Actually, they fully explore that relationship in Prometheus and in Covenant. Now, it's done, I will say better in Prometheus. But it's not because of the actor's fault. Like, David, the main android in the movie, played by Michael Fassbender. He's, like, the main part. He's, like, the best part of the movie. Of both movies, of Prometheus and Covenant. He's a really engaging character, honestly. And he's the only reason why Covenant... I, I liked Covenant, uh, spoiler, I actually I actually quite enjoyed Covenant because of him. But obviously, you know, I had time to sit through and realize that Covenant's not a great movie, although the, you know, main character, quote unquote, being David, in my opinion, was a great character. I don't think that makes for a great movie, but I think the ideas put forth in Covenant are not bad. But anyways, we're not there yet. So in Prometheus, you kind of explore that relationship between the androids and the humans, I think it's done really well. And then you start exploring the relationship between the androids and the aliens. You kind of have that same power dynamic between the two. And it just works. I think it's a nice contrast between the three different types of, of entities, characters you have in the movie, I guess. But it's also interesting to see the other applications of the Black Goo and, and also seeing how the face huggers come to be. Now, I will say that it's a little bit weird. Some of the stuff is a little bit weird. And that's just due to the that's just due to the fact that I think we're never gonna get that third movie that would have maybe you know tied a bow on everything and really just kind of explained how we got to regular aliens or how the aliens that we saw ended up being in Alien One. Now I don't think we're ever gonna get that movie anymore, so that that's too bad. But some of the stuff in retrospect, you can look at it and be like, yeah, this is weird, but in my opinion, it, it was it was still a good idea, and I I really did appreciate what they did. Now, for that reason, I'm going to put Prometheus at A. It might be a little high now that I look at it real quick. But honestly, I really like Alien 3. And I just, maybe I need to put down Aliens again. I don't know. I don't know. I, maybe I need to watch the shit again. I don't know. But it, it's just, it doesn't feel right having these three on the same tier. 
I'm, 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 gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put aliens down. Now, this might seem crazy. I'm gonna put aliens down just because I prefer the character work in Prometheus. And, and that's just due to the fact that they approach topics that I prefer. And they kind of, they kind of like do more with it than what's given to you in Aliens. Now, that's not to say Aliens is bad. Again, it's just, you know, it's not what it's made out to be. That's all I'm going to say. Now, Covenant. Covenant is weird to me because I, when I, when I watched it, I actually liked it. Kind of, I, I liked it. I'm not going to say I kind of a lot. I liked it. I, I enjoyed it for what it was. I thought David was a great character. I still think David is a great character. He's great in Prometheus, but the movie, but the movie itself, Prometheus, is not bad. It's actually pretty good to me. It's pretty good. It's only elevated by uh, Fassbender's performance. Now, Covenant is not a great movie, and while Fassbender still puts up a great performance, times two actually, he just he he can't, he can't save the movie itself from just being kind of. Eh. There's a lot of stuff in this movie that needs to go right exactly the way that it needs to or else the story cannot progress. And there's some things that make characters, one thing in particular, look so dumb, so fucking stupid. Okay, and I, I just, I can't stress enough how things need to go perfectly according to plan in this movie for it to happen the way that it happens. And I'm also very disappointed because this is what, like, watching Prometheus, you get to the ending. You get a sequel to Prometheus. This movie is not what you think you're getting if you watch Prometheus and then this movie right after. Definitely not at all what you're expecting to get. And it, I can't lie, it was a little disappointing to have that that time skip, that jump, that, that like that jump in time between Covenant and Prometheus. I, I felt like I would have liked something a little, maybe a little closer to when they got to the planet, right? I would have I would have liked to see what would have happened then. Maybe I, I don't know. I guess you would have had to like revamp Covenant to kind of change how it works. And would that have been the worst thing ever? Probably not, to be honest. It would have probably been better for the movie and the franchise as a whole. I just thought the movie tried to do too much, and it didn't accomplish that much at all, unfortunately. And it also really fucks with the canon a little bit. I, I, I am, I, I will say, I, I do like the evolution of the alien species and how, again, through Prometheus and Covenant, you kind of get to see like the crossbreeding that goes into it and eventually to end up at like you know a regular xenomorph but the thing is it, it's just it doesn't really work in covenant because it kind of fucks it, it kind of fucks with the with the timeline it kind of fucks with the the lore a little bit and maybe that's due to the fact that we never got a third one and we probably never will and i keep saying that it's like the third time i say that but it it, it needed a third one to make the trilogy complete it might have it might have made the second one better in hindsight and it, it, it does that does happen sometimes and unfortunately, we're probably not going to get that. So I can't really put Covenant higher than like a C, honestly. And that's just because Fazbender's in it and he's great. So I, I, there's not much I can say. And finally, we get to Romulus. And I think Romulus is an homage to all the movies that came before it. Honestly, it takes some ideas. It takes a lot of ideas from one. It takes a lot of ideas from two. It takes a surprising amount of ideas from Resurrection. And all in all, it's just... It, 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 it makes for a great package that takes advantage of the best parts of those three movies that I just referenced. Now, it probably has some other references to other movies. It, it, it definitely is an homage movie in the fact, in, in the sense that it really goes back. Where Prometheus and Covenant tried to just explain the origin, tried to like do kind of crazy shit first, like sometimes, and like really off the wall, kind of like just trying to explain how things happen. This one is literally just happens between one and two takes stuff mostly from some of the best entries and one not so great entry and it just kind of ties it up into a nice package and i think it works beautifully i think the main characters are very interesting which i can't say that unfortunately about a lot of the alien movies other than other than ripley the main character some of them very forgettable i will say but in this movie you you have a lot of like interesting characters you have a lot of interesting things that happen the aliens in the movie like i said Beginning of the movie is very much an inspiration of one. As it keeps going, kind of start getting more aliens in there. And uh, inspiration of two. And then at the end, definitely inspiration of four. And I'm not going to say what it is just because it's like kind of semi-recent. But definitely, definitely an inspiration of four. And I think, I think they actually do it better 
than four in my opinion uh, at least in the horror aspect because where four went like full action barely any horror this one does have that horror like th that horror at its core and it doesn't really let go of it at any point and i i think it just does for a great you know kind of action horror movie that doesn't take itself too seriously it also doesn't go fucking completely off the rails and does some ridiculous shit it does respect the lore of the world that it's set in and i think it's just like a love letter to every alien movie and i liked it a lot now i can see why some people would think that it's it's a little safe it's a little like you know you're not taking too many risks especially coming off of the previous two you're not really taking too many risks with this one you're going back to, you're going back to basics but maybe basics is good maybe basics is good if you want to do the weird shit that's cool but i felt like we were so far removed from alien 3 i would say that was the last one that was like kind of had the roots or, or where romulus had its roots we were so far removed from that it's been like almost like what over 20 years four movies it's just you know it, it, it was good to go back to the basics and to have a movie that does the basics really really well and sometimes all you need after such a long time is the basics and it, I, I feel like this improves on the basics so if we get well we will get another alien movie it will probably go in the direction of what Romulus did. And honestly, I, I, I would think that's for the that's for the best for the franchise, honestly. It was a great movie, and continuing down the path that it set would be the best thing, I think. So obviously, I'm gonna put it in S tier. And that's the list. So, you know, like I said, don't argue with me. I'm just a messenger. <laughs>